Ah, it burns. It burns us. It freezes. Yes, that white supremacist wrote it. What? What? What did you say? He's black? God damn it, Quanta! Get your jigaboo ass over here. You said he was white, not some tar baby from the north. Call him. Call him. Just some guy. Can we just take it back? Nope. Oh, look, I triggered King Baby. You know, for a grown man, Mark, you really should be able to take a joke. I mean, you wrote Alex Jones into your comic and had your so-called superheroes blow up his house. For all we know, he has a family and they were in his house when it went kaboom. You also wrote Donald Trump into Captain America and made him look like you. All this went to print and no one batted an eye. But for some reason, pointing out your Antifa wannabes for the violent fascist thugs that you wrote them to be is just so unfair. So let's get to this because let's be honest, we're all here to hear the Gollum boys. King Baby wrote on Facebook, quote, Hey, do me a favor and circulate. Some sick, borderline white supremacist nuts. Oh, Mark. Mark, 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 Mark. I'm black. Like, actual black. Look, here's my DNA results. I'm 80% jungle bunny, descended from the purest, high-quality West African Mandingo tribes. And I've got the yardstick to prove it. So maybe you want to dial back the, quote, borderline white supremacist line, because that's technically liable, and I don't think you can afford another defamation lawsuit. But since I know you watch my videos, here's what I'll do for you. You can post an apology retracting your, quote, borderline white supremacist line. And don't worry about having to figure out what to say. You can post this. I apologize for calling the creator of the meme, who is black, a quote borderline white supremacist. My intention was to vent my anger, and in my petulance, I made a racially insensitive accusation. I apologize. You can post that, and nothing else. No ifs, no ands, no buts, no equivocations. And I will consider the matter done. And for your own sake, don't be stupid enough to say I claim to be black or trot out the black people you know to try to prove you're not a bigot. Exercise some self-control and keep your foot out of your mouth. I know you think it tastes good, but just keep it out your mouth for a little while. Moving on, quote, Her fake artwork for a comic I'm writing with Kwanzaa Sajefo ignited. She uses evidence that we're using our book as a pro-violence propaganda tool. You say I, quote, faked artwork. No, I didn't. This is Phil Briones' art. I didn't change a thing. What I changed was the text in the caption. Anyone who watches my videos would know that if the text appeared in the comic, I would have said so. So it's obviously fake and clearly satirical. You sound like Franz Lipkin bitching about this. It's a joke and a damn good one since no one has to explain it. Even your supporters got it. Besides, I don't need to doctor the pages to use as evidence that you and Fake Holiday wrote a, quote, pro-violence propaganda tool. I just need to show the actual pages. Like this one, where you have all the students supporting a terrorist poisoning their teachers. Here's what he says, quote, Either the teachers and the administrators send a joint message by the end of today that they'll strike if this program gets forced on them, or they better be ready for an epic case of diarrhea tomorrow. This is your so-called hero, Threatening to poison teachers, the same teachers who were victims of the school shooting and probably saved kids' lives, they're going to be poisoned if they don't do what this person tells them to do. Those are your, well, Kwanzaa's words. Or what about this one where you have the Antifa wannabes attack their own classmates, again, kids who survived the school shooting and might suffer from PTSD as a result, you have your so-called heroes attack the students who are peacefully assembling. Oh, and I saw the little line where you had the speaker say that if the little terrorists don't step down, he'll tear them down. Yeah, that could be construed as threatening language, but that doesn't give anyone the right to attack him, let alone the dozens of people just standing there. That's what your so-called hero did. None of these things, not one, is presented as bad in the comic. 
none of the main characters, not one, questions this behavior. In fact, the main character, White Bitch, whines about how the pro-gun student is, quote, dividing the school. He's dividing school by causing people to form tribes, which apparently doesn't also apply to the dipshit in the gimp mask poisoning the teachers. White Bitch's only concern is whether the Antifa wannabes are ready to fight their friends, not whether it's wrong for them to fight their friends. This is your book. By its very nature, it's a propaganda tool, which you admit, quote, We're proud of United. It's about newly empowered school shooting victims who are pushing back against gun violence in all its forms. <laughs> yes, gun violence such as teenagers peacefully protesting in favor of allowing teachers to open carry or people legally selling guns. So violent. But then, you are a progressive, so speech is violence to you. Does that mean I should file charges against you for calling me a quote, borderline white supremacist? I mean, my ribs are killing me from laughing at your pathetic little insult. But it's still pain. Still counts. Look at what you wrote in the books, man. Your characters use their powers to attack people who hold a political position they don't like. That's it. So far, no one has attacked them. Not in retaliation and not first. Your so-called heroes are always the ones starting the fights. Hell, they're not even like Celestial Being from Gundam 00 dropping in and stopping two sides from fighting. They're the baddies, just attacking innocent people. And you present this without any condemnation. There's not a single moderate, centrist, or conservative voice that is presented as neutral. Everyone who is in the far left progressive is a bad person. I mean, your little Antifa wannabe said this about his own teachers, quote, Ask yourselves if you want to see Mrs. Boswick with a Glock in her hand when a black kid says something she doesn't like. Ask Mr. Lamar if he wants to be seen holding a gun when SWAT cops come tearing around the corner. So the white teacher is automatically racist and so are the cops. Oh, but I'm misrepresenting your book by saying these kids are in heap of wannabes. Then King Baby says, quote, And I encourage you to check it out. I guarantee it's different from anything else on the stands. Yeah, it's different in that, unlike other comics, it's not actually on the stands because no one orders the fucking thing. And to be honest, it's really not that different. You're not the only one writing about far-left extremists getting the revenge on normal people. You're just the only one who uses school shootings as a backdrop because you lack this thing called basic human decency. You're welcome to tell a story set around school shooting. It's actually not a bad idea. What is a bad idea is having all the main characters hold the same worldview, failing to show any other political views in even a neutral light, and making people we should feel empathy for into violent terrorists. You've made caricatures of your own position, and now you're whining because someone pointed it out. Then he says, This, however, the fake claim that our protagonists all identify as Antifa and extremist movement, King Baby, I never said any of the characters identified as Antifa extremists. I suggested that they're like Antifa. Try to listen more carefully next time. I know it's hard, because your head is wedged firmly up your fat ass, but make an effort. Then he says, There's a lame and pathetic death rattle from what I suspect is a reasoning fading comics gate. And if so-called comics gate is fading, why are you worried about a video thumbnail? I mean, nobody saw it, right? If this community is going away, then it won't have an impact, right? Oh, but it's not going away, is it? My video made the rounds and got noticed, and now you're pissy. Probably because it got more views than the actual comic. But he says, quote, Ordinarily, I wouldn't give such a clown this act any oxygen. <laughs> but this re-letter Fick, defacing some beautiful art by Bill Briannis looks authentic enough to fool folks who haven't actually read the story. Um, Bill didn't letter the book. I mean, you keep bringing up his name, but you never name the actual letterer of the book. Probably because you can't be bothered to remember their name. A Larger World Studios. Yeah, okay, I don't blame you for forgetting that. That's a bad name. Sounds like some shit Kwanzaa would have come up with. But maybe I should have edited Phil's art because people keep bringing up white bitch's baby hand. I was going to let it slide, but you know all about how people be petty. This whole thing is over a thumbnail for a video. And like I said, anyone who watches my video will know it's not real. 
Actually, the general response to the comic itself was, this can't be real. People think it's a parody, and that's from them looking at the actual pages and dialogue. So think about what you're admitting, Mark. You're admitting that my satirical thumbnail is indistinguishable from the actual content of the book. The book's premise and dialogue is so out there that you're worried about my little satire. Think about that. Think about how many satirical films, books, shows, and songs were made and got popular, and yet the creators never worried about it. Yet here you are, acting like Julio. Dude, you're over 50 years old. Learn to take a joke. Then he says, quote, It's not fair to smear my collaborators on the series, and that's my concern. Nigga, please. You're mad because I called your book out for the violent far-left extremist propaganda that it is, and neither you nor Kwanzaa have any response to that, so you trot out this, you're a borderline white supremacist bullshit. You're calling a black dude a white supremacist and encouraging your gaggle of mindless drones to spread that around. Look, I know you think you're so high and mighty that you're punching down, or would be if your titties weren't in the way, but here's the reality, dude. You're not as important as you think you are. Literally no one knows who the fuck you are. More people recognize me by my avatar than would recognize you if you had a name tag on that said, I'm Mark Wade. That's why they have to put your name on the tables at conventions. If you were really as important as you think you are, you wouldn't need a label. So you're not punching down. And you're not punching up because the side boo keeps sticking to your deltoid. And you're not punching sideways because all the Tybo in the world ain't going to make that happen. So you're just running your mouth, and we've seen where that gets you. So let me give you some advice, Mark. Have your Mirror Universe doppelganger, Mark S. Zayt Esquire, Super Attorney at Law, teach you how to keep your fucking mouth shut before you say something else that gets your dumb ass sued. You can't afford another lawsuit, and I'm not Richard counting them dollars Meyer. He's a Marine. He's got self-control. You throw punches at him, he slaps him away until it gets real. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Niggas start throwing punches, we don't play. So since you can't afford another defamation lawsuit, I suggest you sit your $5 ass down before I make change. Or not. I can always use another reason to use the Gollum voice. <laughs>